searching. Free kick and it's in! Well, would you believe that? It's Ricky Shepard! Must way, they look comfortable. Yes. Oh, and the ball comes in! Yes. And it's in again! Shepard's done it! He scored again! Three days on from Saturday's FA Cup epic match between Helston and Farmer. They have to do it all again here tonight, but today it's Western League action. Join us, Piran Films, with my old mate Steve Massey summarising for the game here tonight. this early on in the game. Payne with a free kick. Story gets ahead to it, but not sure he knew where that was going to go. Well, it's still has to push it forward. Bentley to, to uh, Wilson. Oh, it fell nicely for Cop to have a shot. Uh, I thought he should have gone first time. Nearest has to have been uh, to a goal after, what, 14 minutes of play here at Callaway Park. Gordon Dunn, Hutchison made the run, he's found him. Oh, but well done, Corey Harvey. Although, Falmouth give it away again. This time, uh, Jordan Cop now looks up, crosses it. Oh, I'll tell you what. For a moment, dangerous. Oh, I'll tell you what, if that had, been, if that had gone in the net, been a goal. The um, closing down being organised by Matty Kuzak here is absolutely exceptional. It is superb. He's talking them through it. Absolutely nailed on. We're winning the ball back, winning the ball back high. Um, great stuff from Matty Kuzak. Weber. Moxham's made a run. He's got the ball now. Can't deliver into the box. Shut down my cop. But uh, Weber inside to Collegia Stain. Back to Weber again. Nice ball to Hutchinson on the edge of the box. Looks surely to have a shot. I think it was, but it was a little bit wide. But now it's Harrison Jules' turn to bring it forward for Helston. His pass is cut out. Kalolo robbed of possession by Wilson. Wilson gets a shot. Oh, it's uh, across the goal. Great, great work by Rennie. You can't fault that. Great, great work. But then again, we were just talking about that quality. That was a wrong decision. Corner to be taken by Tom Payne. Movement in that six shot box, and that was another header by Story. Well, at least he had it in the, in the right direction this, this time. Um, he's getting closer. <clears throat> so, again, corner this time from the uh, other side. Nixon to take it near post. Bentley gets under his foot, and then it's knocked away by Elliott. Cop is the only Halston man up. And he's outnumbered basically as Weber hooks it forward, finds Nixon. Nixon gets away from his man this time, he's got the shot. Oh, that was the closest we've been. Nixon comes inside. Oh, his ball to Weber was read by Payne. Can Halston break? Wilson on the ball. He knew that Cop was there, he found him. Elliot on this uh, left side. Nobody wants it, but Cop looks up to have a shot. Now he comes inside. One player, then two players, and then with his right foot, Borns hooks it away, and Wilson, Wilson makes the most of Borns not being able to push it away out of danger, and a good run through by Cop made it. What a, what a good little player that Jordan Cop is. He picked up the ball, um, and that's where you want him hurting sides. Absolutely in that area, in that last third there, there's hurting sides in there. Maybe you would say himself that it wasn't the best of uh, right foot shots from him, but it just had enough for the uh, for the keeper to palm it in there. And who's there th Who's there again? The big fella, Ruben, um, smashes it into the corner. Um, and again, you have to say, the, particularly the start of the second half, um, against the run of play, uh, Farnworth will have plenty of the possession. But 1-0 Helston. Craven shut down by... Uh, if not two defenders, three. 
Elliott this time, a better first time touch. Comes inside, finds Wilson. Wilson gets a shot in, hits the post, Borens gets a hand to it. Then a near, well, he knocks it. Yes. Oh, and then Isaac Burden shooting across the face of the goal. How did that not go in? Jules, super Jules. Super. To Cop, Halston, three against three here at the moment. If Cop can gets gets away from him near, he's into the box this time. He's looking to get it on his left foot, but uh, it's a strong challenge. Barnes uh, and Wilson clash, and uh, well, oh that ball straight across the uh, six-yard box. So Nixon again with the corner. Towards that far post. It's under the crossbar. Harvey's there. He punches it away for Helston. Come out through uh, Tom Payne. He loses possession as uh, neither side wants to keep the ball. Matt Bye overlapping on that right wing into Wilson. Oh, good block by Kello. Substitution coming up for uh, Barmouth. Ex Helston player, number 14, Alex Wharton. Towards uh, Keller was a bit risky, and Helston straight forward. Elliot on this left flank. Barner chasing back. It comes across. Matty Boy gets an effort there. Appeals for handball as the ball hits the defender, but uh, Palmer get rid of it quickly uh, from the back. Hutchison to Bravin. Bravin and Nixon on that top side. Bravin on the ball. Comes inside, and it's a shot. Comes off one, and it's Alex Wharton who gets the rebound. Comes off Harvey. The shot was from Bravin, and. Uh, Ex, ex house up there, Alex Wharton with a touch in. 1 1. Yeah, yeah was, was it Alex that, that, that parried that in? Um, 15. Jude Tripconi. Colwell looks as if uh, coming off injured rather than a tactical change, but uh, what have we got? Just under eight minutes of play left here at Kellaway Park. It's 1 all. And uh, we knew it wasn't going to be goalless, didn't we? We did. I said at uh, time, you asked me at half time, is it going to be goalless? I said, yeah. And um, if you'd asked me now, it's still one more. I think there's still another goal in it here. This. Back this ball forward, flicked on by Tripconi. In fact, it was flicked on by Tom Hans, too, uh, the substitute, or fellow substitute, Tripconi. And uh, Wilson! Well, that's the way to change the game again. Wilson, with his fifth league goal of the season, puts Helson back in the lead. Well, I didn't see it coming, although I, I, I talked myself into that we were going to have another goal in there, and you have to say, that Judy, Judy Chagoni, um showed a load, a load of composure. Had a little jink, puts a cross into the into the box, and there's the big fella again with that left foot. And when that left foot hammer is in operation around that six-yard box, it's going in the net. Well done, well done, Ruby. Halston, five minutes remaining of normal time. In here with the free kick, gets it back again. After it hit Barner towards that far post, Wharton again, shot just wide from the edge of the penalty area. Wade Brown waiting to uh, come on. His first uh, first Western League uh, outing. Yep, yeah, um, I tell you what, I'm really really excited in that, and that's a that's a great great decision by uh, again uh, our, our manager Matty Kuzak is in there to give give uh, Wadey a um, a debut. We trusted him. We brought him into the squad tonight from the second team. The number of good performances he's had and his attitude. Um, good luck, good luck, big fella. Go well. Almost got an early touch there, but uh, Barmouth beat him to it. And here to Nixon. Nixon's cross. It's deep. It's deep, but no, no problems for Corey Harvey. Don't worry, Steve. Get up! Get up! Get up! Hello. 
He leaves it to Anir to get the ball into a packed penalty area. Headed away by Bentley. Weber for Falmouth. Plays a 1-2 with Barna, cross comes in. Oh, and that was uh, defender Gordon Dunn. But what a good ball that was in there. But um, I don't know whether the ref is uh, actually looking at his, his mint, if he's, if he's got a calendar or a, or, a, or a watch on. Seven minutes plus has been played, have added on time. Harvey's goal go. kick, he's ready to blow the whistle. So the referee does eventually uh, blow for full time. It's finished here at uh, Callaway Park. Helston 2, Falmouth 1. Heard that scoreline before recently.